everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my Country Craft Corner. How in the world are you guys doing today? It is so good to see you again and thank you so, so much for stopping back by to see what I'm up to. And what I'm up to today is an impromptu video for me on a Wednesday, which I have not been doing as of late. Uh, but I am gonna try to go ahead and get this up uh, today, I'm not going to do much editing in this. I'm not going to add music to it, and I'm not going to do my little, you know, uh, beginning uh, little ditties there. I really just want to get this up because I have some questions that have, you know, been posed to me, and I want to go ahead and answer those. And I have a little bit of a haul to show you, and I want to talk to you a little bit about what I've got coming coming up in the future. So. Uh, as far as the rest of my fall videos are concerned. So I'm not sure how many more videos I'll get up to you this week. We'll just say I'll get up as many as I can. <laughs> I don't want to overdo it here, um, but I do feel that it's important for me to go ahead and answer these questions. So, I mean, I'm not overdoing it for me. I'm fine, you know, because I've got all this stuff in the can that I'm just editing now because I've finished my indoor decor. But anyway, we'll get back to that. Uh, but I have one, two, three, four more videos to share with you uh, of the indoor decor. And then I'm going to do my home tour of the indoor decor. And as I said, I'll get back to that. But first of all, I want to share with you uh, a couple of things that I have received and purchased for myself. I'm still working on my wardrobe, you know, uh, for my Mexican Riviera trip. So I was able to find a few more things from Dress Barn. You know, they'll be closing all of their stores December the 31st this year. They will be closing. I don't know what I'm going to do, but they're going to be closing. But I also wanted to show you, I wanted to share with you uh, some ribbon that Bobby over there, perpetualribbons.com, sent me. Now, she sent this to me for free, you guys. I did not order this. She sent it to me because she's looked at my videos and uh, she's seen how I decorate and some things that I may like. Now this is Christmas ribbon or ribbon that I'll be using for Christmas, but I wanted to show you some of this ribbon. I'm not gonna be making any bows today, but I did wanna go ahead and show you these. Let me take the plastic off of this. This is another uh, D. Stevens ribbon. I worked with that D. Stevens uh, well, you'll see I'm going to be working with a D. Stevens ribbon. More that Bobby sent me in an upcoming video. I don't want to say anything about it now. But here is some blue velvet ribbon. Oh my land, you guys, look how beautiful this is. And for those of you who've been following me for over a year, you'll know that the colors in this room, this dining room and living room are more of an ice blue color for Christmas. I really lighten the palette in these two rooms in the front of our home for Christmas. So I know that I will be able to use this somewhere. Beautiful blue velvet ribbon, look at the back of it. It is wired and it is lovely. So, and it is from D. Stevens. I'd really never used D. Stevens before. I didn't, I don't know that I have, I may have, but I, honest to goodness, you guys, this is gorgeous ribbon and it worked out beautifully, wait till you see in a, a video next week. But again, I, this is Bobby from perpetualribbons.com. There is her name and I will, let me run and get her card she sent me. While I'm standing here, I did want to show you, but these jean, can you see them? They're ankle pants, aren't they cute? I got these from Dress Barn for 50% off and they're a size 16. And I just, I think they're just as cute as a button. And they have a little, uh, a little, I don't know that I can get up that far, a little, uh, like a tab button that you can, I guess I could unroll these. This is how they came, but I wouldn't want to. They're really cute. And I don't see why I can't wear these through the fall. They're cute as a button, little ankle pants that I've got my little flats on from Amazon. And then I've got my jean jacket on too, of course, but you know, cause I love my jean jacket. 
Here is Bobby's card. You can pause your computer. And I highly encourage you to go and check out Bobby. Let me show you what else she sent me. Three more different ribbons. And of course, I will be demonstrating making bows out of this, this ribbon as we move into the Christmas season, you know. But check out the little squirrels. I'm showing you this now because she has all this available on her website. So I wanted to be sure to show this. This is another reason I'm doing this video today. I think it's important that I show you this stuff in real time. If I waited until I was done my fall stuff, then you all wouldn't see it in time, you know? So I wanted to show it to you in time. Isn't that pretty? So, and then one more. I love this. I think this is super cute. Look at that. And wouldn't this be adorable? with the squirrels. Look at that. That's so cute. But anyway, super, super, super pretty ribbon. Again, Bobby at perpetualribbons.com. No, I'm not sponsored, but she did send me that for free. So, you know, so that I could show it to you guys. So I so much appreciate her sending that to me, Bobby. You're a woman after my own heart. You know, I love me some ribbon. <laughs> What did Susan, Susan over there at Cozy, uh, Susan's Cozy Condo Life had said? It's uh, She needs a ribbon intervention or something. I think I'm in the same boat with her. It's terrible. I love ribbon. It's terrible. But anyway, thank you, Bobby. And I wanted to show you that for sure. So let's get on to my little haul here. I, as I showed you, my, my little jean capris that were 50% off of the lowest priced price on the tag, which I don't remember how much that was, you guys. They were uh, under $30, I think, and then dress barn, that's pretty good, pretty good price. But I did wanna show you a couple of other things that I got. I have a pair of these that you guys see me in all the time in an 18, and they are getting faded and a little big on me. So I went in to look, and I had a coupon for 25% off of a regular priced item one, regular priced item. So I went ahead and bit the bullet and bought these in a 16 and they were $44.95, but I got them for 25% off and they are a 16, whoops, 16 women's. And they are, as you can see, Roz and Allie. Uh, there we go. And they have the little uh, like grommets and they're ankle pants. These are ankle pants too. These are super nice. They're pull on, <clears throat> super stretch. They stretch a little bit, pull on pants. They don't have a waist, you know, hook or snap or button or anything at the waist. You just pull them on up. So, and they're ankle pants. And of course with my long legs, they don't quite go to the ankle. Well, they do when I have them on for a while, <laughs> you know. So I got a pair of those, which is why I went in looking specifically for a pair of these. But in looking through their sale rack, I also found these, another pair of black. I love black, y'all, you know. Again, 16 women's, and these were 50% off of the lowest price, lowest marked price, and you can see there it's, $43.99, so I got 50% off of that. And again, these are just pull-on ankle capris, you know, and again in a 16, and these are from Jones Studio. I'll get you links to what I can, but some of these, I don't think, I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to find all of this because it's on their sales racks. Y'all might need to just venture into their stores, into their brick and mortar stores, y'all, because they are gonna have stuff in their stores that they're out of online. For instance, this next thing that I'm fixing to show you, uh, I could not find these online, and did I ever make out like a bandit with these, y'all? I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna wear with them, but I'll hopefully find something in my closet. But look at these pretty capris, <laughs> and they're white, y'all. But look at them, aren't they pretty? 
Now these are an 18. These are an 18 and I'll tell you why. Well, for one thing, it was the only pair they had in the place. Only pair they had. Also with these, there is a side zipper. Well, when I was trying to get these on in the, <laughs> in the dressing room and I got up to that seam there, it is terrible hard to get that zipper over across that seam. And if, and I was sucking in and pulling them over and oh, I might need help to get into these pants. <laughs> so I went ahead and said, and once I got them on, they were not all that big, you know, and they are, they are ankle capris, but for the Mexican Riviera, how much more perfect could they be? Their, their pockets and the pockets inside are like a silk. They're lovely. Now, Hang on to yourselves. They're Calvin Klein. Calvin Klein in Dress Barn. I don't know that I've ever seen Calvin Klein in Dress Barn. But anyway, they were regularly $99. On sale for a while for $69.95. And then I got them for 50% off of the... $61.99. So I paid what? $30 for these. And they, they, you know, they have the pockets in the back that you have to, you know, take some scissors and slit open and take the little thread out of, you know. They're lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely on. Little big, but I've got my cruise and, and less than 30, you know, I'm down to like 37 days, 36 days, something like that. These will be fine. So that's all I got from Dress Barn. But then I picked up, Chris and I were in Kohl's. I took back that pink jacket. Remember that pink jacket that I showed you guys last week? I was running out the door and said, oh, I gotta take this back to Kohl's. Well, we took it back and we, as we were walking back through the women's department, they had their jackets on sale. They're like blazers and whatnots on sale. So look at this, I picked this up all right, we had Kohl's cash. We had returned the jacket, so I had all that cash left that, you know, where I returned the jacket. Then I got, I had Kohl's cash. Then I had a coupon, a $10 off coupon, and then a 30% off the entire purchase, whether it was on sale or not, coupon. This jacket cost us $12, I think, something like that. I, I spent a total of, I think, $17 for both of these things that I'm fixing to show you with the Kohl's cash and with the coupons and everything. Work Kohl's, you guys. I'm telling you, if you have a Kohl's around you or, or online, they've got great coupons and pay attention to when your Kohl's cash is due and you need to spend it by so-and-so. You know, it, it's it's definitely worth, you know, working Kohl, working it out with Kohl's. This was originally $64. And I can't remember, I don't have the, my, uh, receipt here, but there you can see. This is a size 2X, I tried these on, but look at the polka dots. <laughs> and look at the cuff. Super cute, super, super cute on. So you know how I like my polka dots. So with that polka dot shirt, wouldn't that look cute? A pair of black, one of these black capris, that'd be cute for dinner one night on the ship cute. So I bought this. Super cute. And we also bought the photo, uh, the photo package, the three of us. So we've split it three way, ways. So we're going to be, you know, having a lot of photo opportunities. <laughs> and then one more thing that I'll get to my questions. And I bought myself another jean jacket. Yes, I did. It didn't match these pants really well. So that's why I didn't just go ahead and wear this today. This is my older jean jacket that y'all are probably sick of seeing. <laughs> Now, this one though is a 1X. Look at that, 1X. And it's from Crofton Barrow. And it was originally, why don't I just break down and put my glasses on y'all? Instead of squinting and, and struggling, $50. This was originally 50. It's kind of a longer jacket, but it is, let me put this one on. This is super cute on, hang on a second. It's actually almost a little bit big, but look, isn't that cute? Excuse the, oops, sorry. But it's kind of long, 
It's not really short. I didn't care for the really short jacket. I'd rather them be a little longer, you know, but isn't that cute? It's just, and it's soft and supple, and you know, of course, I might roll up the sleeves and whatnot, but I can easily button. It goes over the girls just fine with the pockets, slit pockets in the front. Super cute, super, super cute. Let me put this black one on while we're thinking about it here, and I'll show you that one. Cute, huh? Not quite as long as the G one, but super cute. Black polka dotted shirt underneath, black polka dotted shoes, black capris, cute. Maybe this necklace actually with it, cute. It has pockets I can cut. I can stick my phone in my pocket. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Okay, so there we go. Oh my goodness, I'm not much of a modeler at all, but I do like to show you those things in person, but I'm really happy with, with what I got from there. And I've spent a little bit of money, as you all have seen, on clothes as of late, but I needed them. I really did need them. It wasn't just wanting, it was needing. So anyway, she would say, she, my mama would say when I was younger, now Arlen, is that something that you need? Or is it something that you just want? Now let's think about that. <laughs> so that resonates in my head, you know? And there are times when I buy things that I just want. Like I explained about the Vera bag the other day. I just wanted that, you know? These other things, these, these clothes, I, I'm kind of needing them because I'm growing thinner wise out of my, not thin, not that I'm thin. I'm nowhere near that, but I'm, I'm needing to have some more clothes. So anyway, regardless. All right, now I'm gonna go on to some of the, mute my computer, go on to some of these questions that I've gotten, and then I will talk to you about my videos moving forward here for the rest of the fall. I'm morphing in here with a little bit of footage. I'm really good at morphing in lately. I wanted to tell you guys about Sam real quick. I forgot to mention it when I was doing my video. I don't have any lipstick on, sorry, sorry. I'm sitting here editing it to get it up today, but I, and I said, oh my land, I was asked so many times about Sam and I forgot to tell you guys that he did wonderful at the vet yesterday, y'all. Bless his big heart. He did really, really great. We, what we did is we, you know, we have Outbacks. Chris and I both drive Outbacks and he cannot climb up. Well, for one thing, he can't fit on the back seat we used to have a minivan, he, and he used to just climb right into the minivan. Well, he can't climb into the back seat. He just is not strong enough in his back end, and he is he doesn't like the car anyway. I know what dog doesn't like the car. Well, Sam doesn't. Anyway, we set up a, a ramp for him and put it onto the back, you know, the the back bumper and put some water hog rug on it. Chris cut up a water hog rug so he wouldn't slip on. It's a metal. It has to be a heavy duty. Uh, ramp y'all because he's a hundred well he was 162 pounds he's lost eight pounds which we were trying to have him lose some weight he's 162 pounds he's lost over eight pounds which is good and anyway we got him into the car we got him over there got him out got him in the vet took a good look at him listened to his heart and lungs and everything's fine he's very weak in his back end y'all he's very weak as I as I had described before but his quality of life has improved since he's lost weight and since we he had an ear infection and we got his ears straightened out. So he's feeling better. So, you know, thank goodness that he's, he's going to be with us for a little while longer. Uh, of course, we take it one day at a time, sweet Jesus. You know, one day at a time with our big boy. But anyway, I just wanted to tell you that he's fine. He's here, home, sleeping sound over there in the family room right now. But anyway, okay, back to the video. And I just got a text. <laughs> back to the video. Hang on here. Let me get a little drink of a little dry. I've got five questions, none of which I don't think will take very long for me to answer. So let me get started. This number one is from Crystal Smith. And she said, my question is, I've got them blown up, but they're still kind of blurry. What do you do with the pictures you and Chris take? I love photography, so I would welcome some inspiration from you. I imagine others might too, since it is so easy to take pictures with your phone 
and your creativity and my creativity is all inspiring. She said, that's so sweet, Crystal, oh my goodness. Thank you so much. I'm a little bit of a hot mess today, but thank you so much. <laughs> okay, I'll show you one thing that I have done with my pictures in the past. You all see a lot of my pictures and you all see what I do with some of my decor pictures, you know, that I take. Uh, I, I use them as thumbnails and I use them in my videos and I have a plethora of pictures. Over 90,000 pictures on this computer. A lot of them are vacation pictures and cruising pictures of Alaska. A lot of Alaska pictures on here. So, but, I save all pictures, I hardly, I can, it really almost hurts me to get rid of pictures. You know, of course, ones that are blurry or that are two or three of the same, I get rid of. But anyway, this right is here, I'm gonna give you two examples of picture books that, one that I've made and one that our daughter Kristen made for me. Uh, this is one that I made through Apple uh, that you can go into your photos and you can go and figure out how to make up books through Apple. And that's how I made this. And this is of one of our uh, Alaska Cruise, Alaska Voyage of the Glaciers Cruise Tour, Monday, July, June 25th through Saturday, July the 7th. And this is our picture. That is the picture we took. And this back picture is also a picture. We will forever cherish the memories that this great land provided, created July 29th, 2012. That is way before I was on YouTube, y'all. You can tell I've been creating for a very long time long before 2012 but it gives you templates and you just uh you know it gave me a whole page where I could journal like you do scrapbooking you know but there we are there we are in 2000 and what 12 we've aged a little <laughs> But it gives you templates and you can pick your pictures and pick how many templates you want per page. And, you know, uh, you can label them or journal. You can see down here, we're at the Princess McKinley Lodge here. And you can see I journaled a little bit about it there. You know, so. Uh, one of my all-time favorite pictures of us here. I like that. We were in Talkeetna. <laughs> so, you know, this is one thing that you can do. And uh, there you can see I made it through Apple. There's a little Apple made on a Mac. And I made it on my computer. It took me days to do this. You can save it and you can go back to it and you can work on it and you can change the templates and so on and so forth. For, so this is one thing that I have done with my pictures. And this is fun for me to go back and look at sometimes and just go, my goodness, I looked pretty young there, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and then our daughter, Kristen, our oldest, the one that's the kindergarten teacher, after I was on YouTube for a year, she was so proud of me. She was one of my greatest encouragers to, be, to, to start a YouTube channel. My daughter, Kristen, and then my friend, Liz, uh, I have another dear friend, Liz, over there at Traditions by the Seasons, not that Liz. This Liz is a Liz that I've known through uh, our Newfoundland dogs. We met on Facebook. We met in person several times and many times, and she passed away of ALS almost a year ago. It'll be a year in October that she passed away. She is the one that encouraged me to start my YouTube channel along with Kristen, who got right in Liz's corner and said, yes, mom, you should try. You still have the capacity to learn. You should try. You have something you can share. And then the Lord gave me a shove and I just went for it, y'all. And that's how I started. Not that y'all asked me, but that's how I started my YouTube channel. But anyway, Kristen, after my first year, made me three books and I'm not going to show you all three and not going to go through all three. If you all want to see the books, I'll do a video just on that. Maybe after I'm done my decorating and I'll take you through all the books. But she, uh, hi everyone, Arlen here. <laughs> Welcome back to my country craft corner. <laughs> and then on the back, she said, until next time, y'all take good, good care. Look at that. <laughs> And she made me up this book. Now, she did this through Shutterfly. 
She did this through Shutterfly. But this is just a picture, a picture book of all of my Christmas. This was just Christmas 2017, you know? And like I said, if y'all want to see the books, I can certainly do a video just to show you the books that she made me. The first for my first year on YouTube. And she added, she included comments, your comments. I'm gonna cry just looking at this again. <laughs> Y'all ask if my kids are creative? Uh, slightly, and they've got hearts of gold. Y'all, they've got hearts of gold. So I will forever have this book because she took the time, and she doesn't have the time, but she took the time to make not just one, but one of Christmas, one for fall, and one of just like everyday decor. So this is one thing that I do with my pictures, you know, or my kid did with my pictures. <laughs> she grabbed my computer while we were, she was here taking care of the dogs while we were on a cruise one time. And that's how she gathered up all my pictures. Put them on a thumb drive or whatever and when she wanted and away she went. So that's a couple of things, a couple of ideas for you. Okay, so that was number one. I didn't think they'd take me long to answer these questions, but yeah, okay. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, number two. This is from Tammy Marie. Uh, we all know how much you and Chris love Alaska, but where would y'all love to visit that you've never been to? Uh, well, we have one of those places in our queue, and that is Australia and New Zealand. Uh, definitely there. And I would love to do Germany on a uh, on a, um, a land tour, not necessarily a cruise. Although I wouldn't mind doing a river cruise. That would maybe be something one year I'd like to do. But I would like to go to Germany. I have a real heart for uh, those that were affected by the Holocaust. And I don't mean to be modeling here. Or to, or, and it might seem strange to some of y'all that I would like to go and pay homage to the concentration camps and just say a silent prayer for all those affected. Uh, really and truly, that's something I've always wanted to do and I think we will do one day, you know. Uh, I'd like to see the Normandy beaches. I'd like to see, you know, uh, Omaha Beach and all of that and, and again, pay homage to our fallen soldiers and, uh, and all who perished, all who perished on those beaches, you know. So I, I do have a real heart for that kind of, I, I, I'm a bit of a history buff, not really, but I, I love all those, I don't love them, but I, I, I drink up all that information. I watch a lot of documentaries. I, you know, I'm very interested in our history. And so those are some places. Uh, I, don't, I don't have any really exotic places that I'd like to, <laughs> to go to, huh? <laughs> but those are some places. Hope that answered your question, Tammy. <laughs> Okay, number three, uh, Sherry Howard. Uh, does the family love it when you decorate or do they not even notice because they are used to it? <laughs> uh, they do, they really enjoy it. My kids will walk around the house and look uh, when they come and visit if they haven't been here, especially the seasonal you know, decor, Thanksgiving or fall and then Christmas. Christmas is their favorite. Um, so our kids definitely do. Dustin, uh, Candace's boyfriend, is is he loves it too. He comes, he goes, wow, and everything looks great. And I'm like, thank you. And uh, Stace, when she was here uh, a month or so ago, she walked around, we walked around together and we were looking at things and talking about how I did this and that and how she did this and that in her house. She's a lovely decorator. Stacy has beautiful, beautiful work. And uh, so she does. But the one who appreciates it More than anyone is my dad. And y'all don't know how much I would want my mom to be able to see this and to see my YouTube channel and to see me on YouTube channel. I know she would love just to sit and watch me just yammer along and talk and whatnot. I know she would love it. And I know, I know she sees me, you guys. I know that. I know she sees my decorating. But my dad, when he comes, he puts his old, he's a big man. He's about six, three and a half. He's a big fella. He walks around, he puts, and he's a golfer, you know, so he's a real, he's a strapping man, you know, 
but he puts his hands behind his back and he just walks around and he looks at every single thing. He looks at every vignette, every bow, everything. He'll sit and watch my videos. He says, show me a video, Orlin. Show me something, because he doesn't have internet. Show me something that you've done. Show me something that you've, you know, show me one of your videos. And he loves it. And he is so proud, I think, of me. And he said, I finally did find my niche. Sorry, my throat's all tight. Sorry. So, Sherry, you don't know how much your question touches me. Touch me. Okay, so, whoo. Let's go on to number four, huh? <laughs> this is from Amanda Thrasher. She said, for your next Q&A, what kind of scissors do you use? Do you prefer one over the other? I'm specifically asking because mine seem to fill quickly with wired ribbon. I only use my rotary cutter for mesh. Chris and I should probably take stock in scissors. <laughs> I don't buy anything special, Amanda. I buy whatever's on sale. Chris usually picks them up from Costco or BJ's. Come in a pack of three, usually either three the same like this size or two this size and one a little smaller. And these specific ones are from Scotch Titanium. And I just cut right through my wire. I just do. I just cut right through it. And, you know, they last a long time. One pair will last a good while, you know, but then it gets to the point where it's like, they're not working anymore. I need another pair of scissors, you know, and we'll break out another package of scissors, but nothing special. Just, you know, whenever they, you know, comes in a pack of whatever in BJ's or in Costco. That's it. Okay. And then number five, Nadine, I love your decor. Nadine Chapman, Nadine Chapman. I love your decor. Have you ever just skipped a season and just have your everyday items around your home as your decor? Not often. <laughs> to be honest with you, Nadine, not often. Uh, and that's why I wanted to find an everyday decor. And that's why I've been working so hard with my blue and white. <clears throat> Pardon me, making that my generic or everyday decor that I will hopefully just add and take away from for all the seasons, probably except for Christmas. And who knows, maybe one year I'll even use it with Christmas in mind too, but not this year. Everything is going to be replaced this year. But no, not usually. Usually I switch out. Uh, my generic decor, my everyday decor used to be my country, primitive country decor. And I still love that, but I've kind of gotten away from that. And I enjoy having all of this level of our home kind of decorated the same but differently, but the, with the same feel, whereas the primitive country, I think, brings in a different feel, you know, a uh, more rustic feel, and I've kind of gotten away from that a little bit. Not that I don't love it. I do. I absolutely love it, but I've kind of, my, my decorating has kind of um, changed in the last, you know, I'm always, I'm ever changing. I'm ever evolving. I'm ever, you know, I'm always moving forward in my decor, and, you know, I do go back to the primitive country. You know, I did last winter, as a matter of fact, did a whole series on it. If you'd like to go back and look at that winter, my winter decor for that side of the house for my, I'm sorry, I'm sitting in my dining room for the family room, kitchen, kitchen eating area side of my house. I did all primitive, winter primitive, but it was, it, I really enjoyed doing that. I really enjoyed it. And it was fun to bring out some of the decor that I had not seen in a long time. So but no, normally I will, I, and you all have seen me do it, switch everything out for Easter, switch everything out for Patriotic, switch everything out for fall, switch everything out for Christmas, which I will do this year. But not often. It's usually decorated in some season or some holiday in here, you know. I'm hoping that I can get a little bit past that now and do have just the generic we're going to try that after Christmas. Just a, a, a basic white, blue and white decor throughout both of these, all throughout this whole, you know, main level of our home. So, fingers crossed I can bring that to fruition. <laughs> Got to finish my fall do, and do Christmas first, though, y'all. So, anyway, all right. So, that's all my questions up to, to date. If you have any more, be, feel free to put them in the comments. And if I've missed any... 
please ask again uh, if you've, but make sure where you ask your question that I hadn't answered you, you know, in within the, after your comment, after your comment, uh, because some I do answer that way, some that are easier and quicker to answer, I'll answer that way. Uh, so, but that's all of those. Oh, I needed to look, bring my com uh, calendar up. So real quick, I want to finish this one out uh, by going through what the rest of my decor is going to be here. <clears throat> Let's see, what's today? Today is the 18th. So this will go up today. Tomorrow, if I can get it edited and everything, I'm going to get my, my lantern centerpiece up. It may not be till later in the day on Thursday, y'all. It may not be. I'm sorry about that. But then Friday will probably be my grandmother's hutch. I haven't even started editing that yet. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, I can get that edited for Friday. And that will be this week's videos. Next week, Monday will be the foyer. Wednesday, I think, will be the living room. And then Friday, which will be the 27th, September the 27th, that's when my indoor, my indoor home tour will go up. So that will be Friday, September the 27th, will be my indoor fall blue and white and burnt orange home tour. I am not going to add my outdoor home tour in with my indoor home tour for one simple reason. I want my blue and white and burnt orange decor series to end with the home tour. I want that to be in the next, next in the queue. And then we'll head outside. I'm not sure I'm gonna do a lot of videoing out there of me decorating the front porch and the, and the mailbox and whatnot, but I will do an outdoor home tour probably the next week or whenever I get it decorated out there. I've started decorating, I have not finished. By the way, I've made a couple of funky bows to hang on the uh, light post out there on either side of my door and I do have a tutorial coming up when I go into that I just I put the tutorial in the can and haven't even started the video yet <laughs> but I did make two big funky bows so that's for outdoors so I just wanted to explain that to you and I probably will only have the three videos next week because I need to get this house cleaned up and uh, ready for the home tour it you know we need to do vacuum we need to do the floors we need to dust everywhere you know i want to spiff this house up and have it be pretty and the way i'll probably do the home tour is as i've done the last two or three and y'all have seemed to like it as i'll do my introduction and then in my introduction i'll say and if you want to skip me talking through the whole decor through the whole every vignette and everything you can skip to minute mark this and then you'll be able just to skip to that and just watch the, the video set to music, you know. But I do walk you through every room and show you every room at the beginning of the video. So that's the way I've been doing it. And they, they usually are long videos. And, uh, but I do give the option to go to Minute Mark, whatever, if they don't want to sit through, if y'all don't want to sit through everything. So that's what my plan is moving forward. If I have another video for next week, it will be one to answer questions or to come in with a haul or something like I'm doing here, you know, but right now I'm planning a Monday, Wednesday, Friday videos for next week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday for next week, the week of the 23rd, September the 23rd through the 27th on YouTube. Normally I've been doing Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. This week I did Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Lord willing, Thursday and Friday, if I can get my footage edited. Okay, okay, I think that's it. I really just wanted to bring you up to date. As a, again, no music, no special effects for this one, you know, unless I throw in a picture here and there over my shoulder to, to show you something. I don't know, I haven't edited, but I'm gonna try to do this really quickly. I'm gonna try to get this edited really quickly and go ahead and get this up uh, today, all right? All right, <laughs> uh, let me, I hate, I don't like, I love having my stuff in the can, but I don't like talking, not being able to talk to you like in real time here, you know, and I think it's important that I, I do the questions and stuff like I said. Anyway, I'm rambling, I'm rambling. What is new? So with all of that said, let me just say that 
I hope that those of you who are struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love you all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around, and I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye.